Clarity. <laughs> it's not something you often find on YouTube. But today, we're going to work on clarity, definitive answers to one specific question in regards to power washing. And that is, is it illegal for me to pressure wash my driveway? And for most people, the answer is, is yes. So what we're going to do today is I'm getting ready to do some power washing. I'm going to show you how to prevent yourself not only from breaking the law, but how to prevent yourself from getting fines. Whether you do the pressure washing yourself or you hire someone to do it, this is pretty important to understand. So hold on one sec. Hey guys, so I don't have to keep mentioning this during the video, in the description below there's gonna be a link. And in that link, it'll take you to our website. And what I'm linking to is I'm gonna to link to um, a page there and on that page you'll see we list the top pressure washing products for 2019 for the average homeowner the best pressure washer the accessories surface cleaners all that kind of stuff it's on there it's the stuff that we've tested that we rated top uh, as an example the pressure washer that I use and the pressure washer that I recommended last year it's now one of the top selling pressure washers on Amazon it's now an Amazon choice pressure washer Hundreds and hundreds of people have bought that pressure washer based on my recommendation and the feedback has been phenomenal. This thing is really powerful. It can clean anything and I use it for decks, fences, driveways, swimming pool decks, everything. Great pressure washer. So check out that link. So if you hear any buzzing, I'm standing over here looking at magnolia trees and they're blooming because all the rain we got. And I figured it's time with all this rain to go ahead and clean the driveway. But I'm going to show you, I'm going to answer a question. The funny thing about YouTube is, I love some of these comments. <laughs> you get Bubba Joe and Bada Sue that don't have internet apparently, and they don't understand that it's very easy to research this and find out the answer. But I went a step further. I actually read the laws, then I picked up the phone and I actually called the EPA. So if you want to put a stupid comment, hold off, call the EPA and ask them if what I'm saying is true, because you know what? Every local county or city has an EPA water office and they'll tell you the exact same thing. If you pressure wash your driveway and you live in a subdivision and you have a water drain and that wash, that discharge reaches that water drain, you're going, you are actually breaking the law and you can be fined. The, one of the reasons why I say don't use chemicals, any chemicals on your driveway, because if you're just using water, there's a good chance you'll just get a little ticket or a warning. You can always play dumb. But if you start adding chemicals to that, even bleach to your driveway, the fines can go into the thousands and up to $50,000 for a fine. Google it. Research it. Don't believe me. Pick up the phone and call someone. <laughs> it's the absolute definitive truth. We've done enough research on this. End of story. That's the true story. If you have wash off coming off your property, man-made discharge, power washing and it runs down your street and it goes enters into one of these storm drains that's a violation of the clean water act people say no it's only if it reaches a watershed well what is a watershed a watershed is the overall environment of um, or reaches waterways the watershed is part of the overall environment which basically which basically starts at rainwater runoff and sewer drain that's where the waterway and watershed starts small scale up to larger scale to rivers and creeks and so on and so forth but it's all part of that same thing so yes any man-made discharge that enters into the road goes down the street and enters into the sewer system yes it's a violation matter of fact you can google it there's even a brochure online i'll put up the brochure i found it tells you what a waterway is it tells you're not supposed to do it so anyways i'm going to show you a real quick fix if you're really concerned about it um, this is like a $40, $50 fix that you can do that you don't have to worry about it. You can power wash all you want. I was driving by a, a home down here the other day and there was some professional guy, Bubba Joe, you know, got a magnetic sign on his truck, Bubba Joe's home repair and power washing. And he's out there just blowing mud everywhere in the street and it's running down. I'm like, dude, you are just asking for trouble. It's important to remember if you hire a power washing company, the company that you hire is not liable. The homeowner is the one that's liable. So if you have a pressure washing company come out and they use chemicals on your driveway and they don't use a reclamation system, in other words, they're not catching that water and moving it into somewhere on your lawn or somewhere into the woods or removing it completely, 
the fine can be very high and you the homeowner get the fine not the pressure washing company understand that make that clear all right so normally i would have this little system at the end of my property line pumping into a natural area down there let me show you so down there at the end of my property line I have that little natural area and normally I would have that discharging in there, but just for video purposes today, I'm hooking it up here. Let me tell you what I've got. Now I've got one of these little small, oh, they're kind of like a wheelchair batteries, 12 volt. And that will last, that has like a three hour run time on it for this pump. And what I did is I bought one of these little, this is off Amazon, it's a cheap, it's an automatic, it's an auto bilge pump. So it comes on, it has a float sensor. When it feels the water come up, it'll turn on. All I do is I take a soaking wet towel and just make a little shape like this so it collects the water. You can use a three quarter, this has a three quarter inch out. So you can use a three quarter inch garden hose. I happen to just have some clear hose that I bought, a piece of clear hose. And then I run that, you have to run it into some kind of either lawn or natural area, like I said. I'm just going to, for today, demonstration, I'm just going to show it here. We're going to dump some water down that would normally enter into. So all you have to do is just watch that little towel to make sure that it actually comes up and fills up and holds the water so that it holds it right. That'll kick on. And then it will just discharge into the natural area. shuts off when it runs out. Pretty slick, huh? So if anyone were to come by here, is this 100%? No, it's about 99%. Uh, the effort has been made to have a reclamation system. You're not gonna get a ticket if you're doing this. This is, this is that extra step that shows them that, hey, I'm concerned about it. I've done a reclamation system. What are you gonna do? Normally, I would put it down, have that hose running across here and run it up over here. Now I can probably, that bilge pump will push probably about 15, 20 feet so I can run it up and dump it over in there. So I've probably got, now if you have, you can use any battery, you can use a spare car battery, a marine battery, you don't have to go buy a battery. So I've got probably what, $35, $40, $40 in pumps and hose, I got an old towel that I'm gonna get yelled at for using. That's about it, and so now I don't have to worry. I throw this in the closet, and every time I want to pressure wash, I just bring this out and just set it down there, and I'm safe. Hey, guys. So, uh, yes, it's the next day. <laughs> I'm trying to finish up this video because the rain keeps moving in. And as you can see, I had to stop that video yesterday, get the mower out, cut the yard. I treat it with super juice. Looks great, doesn't it? Uh, also, important note, PGF Complete's going to be launching next month, and so you definitely want to sign up for the email alerts to be notified when that hits the market. I'm telling you, if you want a crazy green thick lawn, PGF Complete, when it hits the market, then do supplements with the Super Juice. It's absolutely insane what it's doing out here. Uh, our testing grounds across the street are just blowing up green, even after the drought and heavy rains we've got. The PGF Complete, like I said, it's I've talked about it before and there's a new website, you can go read about it, but it's the first time in the fertilizer industry that all these components and all these ingredients have been put together in, in this way, including humic DG, iron, micros, macros, it's, it's great stuff, it's phenomenal stuff, so watch for that. So as far as the pressure washing goes, I got about four more videos to do. This little tip, like I said, you spend 50 bucks one time for the next years, you don't have to worry about anything as far as runoff goes. Uh, the next videos we're going to be doing, we're going to be talking about equipment, accessories, and techniques on the videos. I'll even do maybe even a pool video. A couple of people asked about my pool, cleaning that deck. We'll talk about fences. We'll talk about cleaning products, when to use them, when not to use them, a bunch of different stuff. Click subscribe. Talk to you later.